It's Sidney Nolan like you've never seen him before. 50 colourful spray-painted portraits created by the famed Australian artist in Wales in 1982. He was in a remote farmhouse and um, he picked up a few cans of paint and uh, of spray paint and uh, decided to experiment. The paintings had been stored at the late artist's home in the UK, but have now made their way across the world, soon to be on display for the first time as part of the Mona Foma Arts Festival in Hobart. In 1982, uh, it probably was seen as something a bit radical, maybe too radical, uh, to be displayed publicly. So 38 years later, I think we've caught up with Sid. Nolan is best known for his series of works about the infamous bushranger Ned Kelly, but his new works show him in a more contemporary light. Because the works are done in spray paint, you can um, imagine a lot in the work because they're not defined and we don't know who the portraits are. It's not just the prospect of seeing previously unknown artworks by Sidney Nolan that has art fans around the world excited. It's also the prospect of being able to snap up one of the rare pieces. Nolans have made over five million dollars in the past. Um, these works are just under 10,000. My phone's actually vibrating in my pocket right now. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I've got hundreds and hundreds of emails. And the buzz is likely to continue, with more exhibitions of never-before-seen Nolan works already in the pipeline. Kate Ainsworth, ABC News, Hobart.